Well, back here, winter canola being harvested at the same time as the wheat right now, but farmers say it's actually much more valuable. Some call it the new black gold. Ron Hayes joins us live via Skype, and uh, canola, use it for oil, I'm assuming. Am I correct, Ron? You betcha. Food oil. In other words, you can buy, of course, at the grocery store, and this is the same, uh, same canola that we're talking about. Uh, it, normally, it's uh, been grown traditionally down through the years in the northern part of the United States up into Canada, but there's been some varieties that have been adapted for our part of the country. You plant it at the same time as you plant winter wheat in the fall. It overwinters, and then it uh, is ready for harvest right about now in the month of June. And uh, these uh, canola fields that are being planted, that were planted last fall, about 80,000 acres in the state of Oklahoma. That's double from a year ago. Uh, very valuable this year. We're getting about uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 bushels an acre. Uh, canola prices that farmers are receiving over $7 a bushel. Wheat's down about $3.75 a bushel. So it's a lot more valuable, it seems like, this year to have canola rather than wheat. And uh, farmers are, are really enjoying that difference, even though there are some extra costs and some extra management they're having to learn. They say it's well worth the investment. Uh, is this, uh, does this vary from year to year? Is this a trend we'll continue to see where a lot more uh, farmers will go to canola because it's, it's worth more? Well, I think that's, that's going to be part of the equation without a doubt, Rich. But the other part of the equation is that we've got uh, in a lot of our wheat fields, especially in southern Oklahoma, we've had so many weeds start to pop up, and they're very hard to control because they're grassy weeds. They're, very, they're similar uh, as far as genetically speaking with wheat, so you can't kill them with herbicides real easily. And uh, if you plant a different crop, if you rotate, it gives you a chance to break that weed cycle. That'll give us better quality wheat when we go back to the wheat in those fields. And so farmers that have uh, traditionally been planting wheat, wheat, wheat year after year, they're going to be starting to look at some of these rotational decisions. And canola seems to be one of the very best for the state of Oklahoma. Yeah, sure sounds like it. Sounds like in my front yard, too, with the wheat. <laughs> All right, Ron, thank you, sir. You can hear Ron's uh, reports on the Radio Oklahoma Network stations like KZLIM AM in Katrina.